Okay, we are here today at uh, in front of the National Bank of Arizona in Golden Valley. Uh, let me show it to you. And uh, very simply, while well, we are a little bit uh, disappointed, it is uh, this uh, new sign that they post in front of the door that says that no weapons are allowed. Uh, I think it's very sad because, you know, of course, we respect their private business. This is private property. They have the right to do pretty much whatever they want. But also, this is also our money and our business that we bring to them. So, if that's where they want to go, I think it's time that maybe we start to decide we want to bring the money somewhere else. Uh, bottom line, let me show you the sign before we go ahead. This is the sign. Here we go. National Bank the sign so what's happening now is this one uh, they think that uh, it's okay to disarm law-abiding citizen uh, unfortunately it doesn't work like that criminals they love uh, sitting ducks uh, think about also the liability I mean I need to get my cash whenever I do my transaction and I go from the door from the bank all the way to my truck and what happened I'm completely disarmed and if something happened to me, who's going to be responsible? And also another important thing, uh, don't, they don't even provide the private security. Something they should do, at least that. I talked today with uh, the customer service uh, in Phoenix uh, for the corporate, and pretty much I told them my disappointment, and I'm ready to uh, completely remove uh, my money and my account from uh, this national bank. All I say is it's time to stand up for our rights, we can stand up for our First Amendment, we should stand up for Second Amendment, and all the rest of the Bill of Rights. Uh, corporate business, they have the right to do business the way they want, but us as a law-abiding citizen, we also have the right to uh, bring our money and our business wherever we want. So please, concern American, and more important, concern Arizonians, uh, it's time to wake up, it's time to stand up, it's time to vote with our bucks. Call. The Bank of National Bank of Arizona, and I will give you the 800 number. Call, be polite, and uh, just explain that uh, uh, they can do whatever they want, but if they think they can deny our Bill of Rights and our Second Amendment rights in this bank just because in their brain makes sense, that's okay. We have the right also to move our business somewhere else. And by the way, uh, just to let you know, criminals love signs like gun free zone. That means that it's open for hunting and we're all sitting ducks. That's not the case, at least according to my book. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. We are here back to uh, in front of the National Bank of Arizona. And uh, guess what? Today is the day after we've been uh, complaining about this uh, pretty much uh, fascistic sign that denies our Bill of Rights, no guns on the premises. Sometimes talking, especially with the dollars, helps. Guess what? Phoenix corporate business removed their sign. Great news. So, dear friends, this is the great news. Today is 4.30 in Golden Valley branch of the National Bank. Uh, corporate from national I think they got a message that to disarm law abiding citizen it is not really a safe idea because on top they're gonna be liable number one and they may lose a lot of business thank you very much for listening that's it we are free people and for freedom we'll fight we'll never give up our right the second amendment The Second Amendment, the Second Amendment, the right to be free, the right to defend yourself.